And welcome to the Marcus and Mike show, guys. I am Mike. On today's show, we got to talk more Antonio Brown saga. What's going on with him? Uh, USA loses to uh, in the what was it to France? I do I do believe. And then of course Thursday night football. But before we get too carried away, Marcus, welcome to the show. How is your afternoon going so far? Pretty good, man. Just watching the USA lose, I was like, oh god. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it, it, I'm I'm doing pretty good. Yeah, so uh, as we alluded to pre, uh, pre-show pre here, uh, USA did get beat uh, by – let me check here. It was France, correct? France, yeah. yeah. So they did lose to France as their first international loss in 58 games. Are you right. affected by this at all? Like is it a big deal, no deal? I was a little disappointed. I don't think it's a big deal. Um, this was loaded, man. And let me tell you something. Rudy Gobert dominated the game. Utah Jazz is Rudy, Rudy Gobert. He was, uh, you know, him and Donovan Mitchell are teammates in the NBA season, right? They weren't teammates today. Uh, <laughs> on transition bucket. So Rudy Gobert dominated. They, listen, France had Evan Fournier, uh, uh, Frank Nilakina, uh, Nicholas Batum. I mean, they had a wealth of NBA players that right. almost were just as right. good as our guys. You know, our top guys didn't show up. But, you know, a few all-stars showed up, some really good players. I think the um, USA did miss Tatum for his scoring there. Obviously, the USA only scored 79 points today. Kimba Walker uh, almost was a no-show uh, uh, this morning. Um, and then Donovan Mitchell got shut down in the fourth quarter. He had 29 points in the in the first three quarters and did not score a point in the fourth quarter. And they, they put a lid on that basket, man, Rudy Gobert. You know, one thing is funny in international play, even on, on made free throws, if the ball's bouncing around a little bit, and it finally drops through. You know that if the ball's bouncing around, you can tap the ball out of there. Oh, really? I didn't know that. So yeah, there's so, so like, there's no goaltending. Yeah, no, there's no. Well, yeah, there's goaltending. If the ball's going down into the basket, you can't put your hand there, obviously. Right. But if right. it's bouncing around the rim, it's for it's a live rebound. Right, so you I can just go grab. Yeah, you can just go grab the ball for a live rebound. USA didn't do that once. I mean, the ball's bouncing around on some free throws. I, Donovan Mitchell tried one time, and he's only 6'3", yeah. and he yeah. didn't get it. I, I, I mean, man, you'd have thought that USA would have a big-time advantage. A shot goes up, it's bouncing around the rim. I would jump up there and take that ball off the rim. You're right. So, anyways, it is what it is. I think Popovich did a good job. You have to remember, the United States players didn't um, – they don't play together. The, 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 this group, they, they played together the last three weeks or so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Nicholas Batum and Rudy Gobert and Nando DiColo, another former NBA player, former Spur, these guys know each other. They know where they're going to be. They've been playing with each other for a long time since, you know, for a while. So it's, 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 um, yeah, it's, it's a tough task. Now, that being said, next summer when, um, you know, our top 10 players really, you know, go like Kevin Durant shows up and LeBron right. James shows up and Kawhi Leonard shows up. There's nothing Nicholas Batum and Rudy Gobert are going to do about that and Frank Nenelikina and all that. that this is not going to happen. So um, we'll win the gold. But, yeah, I mean, I wish the United States would have won today's game. They, they struggled scoring, and they didn't take advantage They didn't take a, a advantage of a few things. But, hey, it is what it is. And, uh, yeah, they lost. I mean, yeah, a little disappointing, but, you know, oh, well. Yeah, and, like, and kind of just to add to your point there, like a tad bit, I think the foreign players – in the NBA take more pride for playing for their homeland during these international yeah. games. So, so they're out there giving a hundred percent because, you know, there's their pride of the country. Like, Hey, we beat America. Hey, we beat France. Hey, we beat like Iran or, you know, it just, it's a different type of pride for them. I think, um, well, whether you want to admit it or like or not, the U S kind of takes these non, these non Olympic events kind of, uh, second hand, you know, because you have people like LeBron James that are, you know, he's gearing up for the NBA season. He's he is ready yeah. to make a hundred million d- d- dollars. He doesn't want to get hurt playing for free. Yeah. I mean, like I'm sure they're making some type of compensation, but it's but it's nowhere of what they're making in the in, in the NBA. So with all that with like with all that being said, I'm not really too overly concerned about it because I think we really take the Olympics more serious than than, than the than the FIBA or anything just like that. So once yeah. the once the Olympic rolls around, we'll be totally okay. Just just go ahead and put the gold around our necks, and we'll be good to go. Yeah. So speaking of putting gold around people's necks, 
Antonio Brown. Seems like we cannot go a day without talking about this man. It's been nothing yeah. but a saga story. Uh, yesterday, we asked if he was going to finish the, the season with the Patriots. <laughs> now I think the question is, is he going to play one down for the uh, yeah. Patriots? <laughs> if you guys have not heard, uh, Tony Brown has been accused in, I believe, a civil court, not criminal court, civil court, of rape uh, from a former trainer. Her name's Brittany Taylor. Uh, just some food for thought. I heard she works for the Oakland Raiders now as well. So take that as you will whatsoever. But there, are, there have been three instances of where Brittany Taylor is accusing Antonio Brown of sexual assault slash rape dating back right. to 2017. So what are your thoughts on this? Um, at first, you know, first glance, um, without reading anything, I'm thinking, oh, it's a money grab. Another woman coming forward, a guy while he's down. However, she's it's only, only asking for 75000 Right, only asking for 75000 Now, when I heard you say that, I thought the same thing, only 75000 right. for a rape. Mm-hmm. Um, but I heard that they had to just put the 75000 out there just to get in the door to get the indictment going or whatever it is to be charged in the civil court, that that thing's going to go up to a million dollars. I'm sure it will. Does it, because it actually – she's saying it was a rape. So I'm thinking to myself, okay, you know, it's another one. Listen, I, you know, I don't really want to question women too hard, but I, I sometimes I just don't understand how you wait this long. And da-da-da. although you know it's 2007, 2018, so it's not like she's waiting 10 years or something. But um, but then when I, so I'm thinking it's a money grab by her, you mm-hmm. know, in, in that like, oh yeah, another another one of these, right? But then flip the script, things evolve. You read more stuff. I read the emails. I read some of the emails. I read some of the text messages. Dude, Antonio Brown's a, I mean, we already knew he's, a, he's an idiot. He's a moron. This dude's right. not a good right. dude. So by his own admission, something happened. So it's not like she just one day got the phone and goes, you know what? I've been working with Antonio Brown for three years. You know what? I'm just going to accuse him of rape. She's not, you know, at first you might think that. She's not doing that. When you read the 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 emails and stuff, I mean, he he's, he's, com- he's having sex with her while she's asleep. He's actually even admitting that Why'd you make me feel that I had to like sexually assault you? Like, dude, like you're, you, Antonio Brown's language sucks. Well, he's gonna have to come out of pocket. Yeah, right. So, so I have not read the emails. Yeah. I I try to read that first line, and like any time when I have to read something out loud and try to make make sense of it, I'm right. not going to like read it. Like he was using short shorthand and the U and the R. I was like, come on, man. Like you are a college edge. <laughs> educated professional yes. athlete learn how to write a freaking email but with that out with like like with that out of the way from 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 what you are saying to me like i'm i'm taking your your like your word at this i have not read into this at all uh, meaning the emails um if you are admitting that you felt like you were raping them or doing this or or like doing that why did Brittany Taylor keep putting herself in that situation? True. So uh, I, I, I'm not saying that she is totally innocent or Antonio Brown is in, in it, this happens three separate times. Right. If, if the first time you felt like you were a victim, why did you continuously put yourself in that position over and over and over again? Not once, not twice, but three times. So, Yes, I know she was a trainer for Antonio Brown. I don't know if, if, if she worked for the Steelers, but I, I if 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 I remember correctly from what I read, she was down in Miami, so she was even sure. with the Pittsburgh Steelers, like like at the time. And then I read that she is now working for Oakland. So I I, I don't know how true that is, or because you know Photoshop is a very powerful tool, right? And you kind of kind of take it for what is worth at face value a little right. bit uh so if this is true that she's working with with the oakland raiders i almost have to say that maybe oakland is trying to poke the bear a little bit like haha you know right. but i don't see john john gruden or a mike mayock really going down that no that down, down that path too much maybe if it was uh uh al like al al davis still at the helm yeah and it's happening i could see that happening but the like we've talked about this before. The Baylor guy, uh, he got a charge with with like rape. His career is over. You know yeah. uh, now Antonio Brown is getting charged or not charged with rape, but uh, accused of rape, I should say. 
And yeah, this could quite possibly end his career too. He could never. Yeah. I, 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 if this goes any Dude. further, I bet you he is cut by the New England Patriots by Saturday afternoon. Doesn't play it down for the New England Patriots, Dude. and he's never going to see an NFL team again. No, you're right. But, hey, let me tell you something, man. That Me Too movement, yeah, is, yeah. ain't no joke. Right. Okay. Right. It, it's already out that he did something to her while she's asleep, and man. she it, and, and he has admitted it, like passively he's admitted aggressively. admitted it. Passively aggressively. He's admitted, admitted it. it, dude. Now, I mean, as a player, I can get over that. I'll be like, I'll look at Antonio. I won't want him around my daughters, but uh, I can be like, hey, what's up, man? Yeah, catch some football today. I'm going to block for you. Right. I'm trying to win. I can look past that. But some fans, man, and the Me Too movement, and some guys, man, they will not look past that. And and if you have any anything of where if he ever gets signed and it's a protest, uh, NFL teams will release his ass. Yeah, uh, this uh... – the uh, Michael Vick thing comes to mind. I mean, people yeah. were rioting in the streets for the Philadelphia Eagles for the first five or six six games, and then he started yeah. to win, and then it caught him, and then it all kind of went hush hush. So, See, I'll, yeah, no, go ahead. So, 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 like I said, like I'm not 100% blaming Antonio Brown. I mean, Brittany Taylor is to blame as well for putting yeah. her in that per, yes. for putting herself in that situation more than once. One time. I can blame Antonio Brown 100%. But the second time, Brittany Taylor's got to take a fall. The third time definitely has to, like, why are you putting yourself in that situation? So Absolutely. I mean, but see, sometimes, Michael, the court, we as fathers would look at it like that. You know, like our daughters. Why do you put – listen, we're going to go – honey, look, if that's happened to my daughter, Yeah. I'd say we're going to go after Antonio Brown. Don't worry about it. I'm, I, I have your back. I'm your father. But in a little while – we're going to talk about why you kept going back. You see, the courts don't – sometimes the courts don't give a damn how much she went back. It's what happened. So – Yeah, but like, like I, I see what you're saying about the courts, but sometimes common sense has to take over. But, like, why – so, like, why didn't she say something the first time that it happened? Right. Back, it, but, 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 but wait a minute, Michael. I'm going to play devil's advocate with you. I agree with you. Why the hell would you go back? Why the hell would you – what the hell are you doing? Right. As a father – that. But the, the but the courts look at the common sense of the what the person that did the act. Yeah. They're gonna look at Antonio right. Brown's common sense. Why are you pulling out your thing and ejaculating on her while she's sleep and all this stuff? The, dude, she's being that, that that's what happened. I, I get graphic. I mean, I'm telling you what the email right. like she, he's admitting that happened. So they don't even care if she went back four or five times because she's not the aggressor. She's the idiot. You can't put all the idiots in jail, but the person <laughs> that should. did the act. Yeah, I wish. Um, <laughs> but the person that did the act, the crime in this case, is going to have to come out of a pocket of near a million dollars and may not ever be signed by an NFL team. Real quick on the Michael Vick thing, I was one of the most ones that care, could care less if he was fighting dogs. Right. I think, are you a dog lover? I like I, dogs. I love dogs, yep. Okay, but I, I really didn't care about it in terms of, hey, they're pits, they're fighting. I mean, I know some people you know, may get mad at me for saying that. I don't care. What I care about is how stupid Michael Vick was. He should get like you. He should get in. He should be put in jail for ten years just for being stupid. Right. I mean, how do you? How are you the the king of Atlanta? When you fly into Atlanta, there's a billboard of Michael Vick, not the mayor. You know, <laughs> right? Not, not a yeah. councilman. You're right. It's a billboard of Michael Vick. So you mean to tell me he's worth a hundred million dollars? All the endorsements, right? Oh, and by the way, I'm gonna have a dog fighting ring. That would be equivalent, Michael, to Beyonce having a side prostitution ring <laughs> like it, right. in other words why would she do that she would be a moron so okay so yeah so let yeah, me I stop you right example. there me, mm. me me like i could care less if he had a dog fighting rink too but you are making a hundred million dollars a like a year you you pay a guy to take the fall for you you're like hey man here is eighty thousand dollars a year if i ever get in trouble for this you are the ring leader you are like so I mean, like maybe, yeah. maybe, maybe this is just me thinking like a logical person. Like you always have I me. Mean, like I, I'm making a hundred million yeah. million dollars a year. I, I can afford to pay somebody a hundred and twenty, hundred and thirty thousand dollars a year, better yeah. their lives, and 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 you, like keep me safe for doing these illegal activities. You mean to tell me there was not one person in Michael Vick's circle or friend that said, "Hey, Mike, nudged him." Like one day they're at the club, right? Hey man, you still doing that dog thing, the dog, the fighting dog thing? And Michael said, "Yeah, man, 
Hey man, you might want to cut that out, man. Like, like you would ruin your whole life. Uh, like how those, stupid? Uh, no, no, no. So you are thinking like a smart man there, yeah. because Michael Vick is your boy, but yet Michael Vick is my boy, and and like I have my hand out, and he's paying uh. me <laughs> money to just hang right. around him, you know. Right. So so like I'm not going to question anything that like he does, but. I mean, we could oh, I got you. we could really get deep in that if you wanted to. Like, I just saw yeah. the thirty for thirty on Aaron on Aaron Her- on Aaron Hernandez again. Uh, you know, like okay. like how he killed his friend, or you know, I mean, like there are money buys you a lot of things, but it it does yeah. not help you being stupid or just this yeah just just. What's stupid. crazy is Aaron Hernandez died, and there was like a clause in his in his contract or clause in his deal or whatever. Even if he committed suicide, yeah. That somehow his daughter now is going to get all the money and his and his wife. That had he lived or something, they wouldn't have got as much money. Right. So man, he basically right. killed himself, you know, for for them. I mean, well, that's pretty intense yeah. stuff, man. He was going to be in jail for life, yeah. like uh, just like just like, right. like like anyways. But back to the Antonio Brown thing, yeah. the whole email situation, him basically admitting to whatever he has done. Why is he coming out publicly saying that he has done nothing wrong, dude? The emails say that you felt like you raped her. Like, yeah. why don't you just say, you know what? I made a mistake. Let me take care of this issue. Issue a public apology before it goes to the court system. Like, this should have never yeah, have, like, hit the press at listen, all. Yeah, I mean, if you – listen, I wouldn't be in that position, but if you've already admitted that 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 you, like, felt like, you know, like, you know, you had sex with her while she was asleep and da 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 I would say – I mean, I'd come out and I'd tell. I don't know if I. I don't. Even, well, my lawyer would probably say just to shut up. Right. Yeah. But man, I'd. I would be. Look, I'd be like, dude, we've had a relationship for like three years. I've had sex with you a hundred times. Like, you know what I mean? So it's not like I'm met her one night and grabbed her and forcibly raped her. Like, I would be, like, dude, I know this person. She's just doing money grab. So that's what yeah. Drew Rosenhaus and those guys are gonna do, and his and the lawyers and all. That's what they're gonna say. But the text messages, the emails look really bad, and so. I'm actually a little surprised that the commissioner hasn't put him on the exempt list yet. If I've read the emails they have had, and so like to suspend him until they figure out what happened. And I'm actually surprised that New England hasn't suspended him yet, to be honest. Uh, Me, uh, being the devil's advocate, just like you were earlier, maybe they have to prove their their authenticity first. Yeah. Because we do live in the world of Photoshop. And like I can say, Donald Trump says anything on Twitter. Twitter just by a simple clicks on the button on Photoshop. But reading the first, like the first sentence of the language, not to sound like a racist or or like anything just like that, but it sounds like an inner city black man trying to 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 like talk. Uh, I mean, that, that just just from that first sentence. The yeah, no, no, I read that, the whole thing, right and yeah, I mean, it's pretty much slang and stuff like that, yeah. man. I mean, I, yeah, you would think. Yeah, you think you know a college educated person would 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 it's that's not gonna look either that's not gonna look good either in the in the in the, in the court system those emails are gonna look terrible right uh, so yeah. like the one thing that comes to my my mind is what has happened from 2018 until now that all of a sudden causes her to come out and be like hey I'm going to release these emails I'm going to follow this like do you think he was paying her on the side and then and then and like all of a sudden it's like well sorry like you got your fill you know yeah. like, like i like i like i wonder what happened what, what do you think think happened that's hey that's possible man she was getting paid i mean think about it. i mean that's why she went back those two and three times and four times five times right i mean right. because you know he's paying her she's, she's getting money man so it's money money is money is something man. like so <laughs> he's paying her so and then plus he had Man, uh, this guy had a had a, had a girlfriend, you know, who he has a bunch of children by, or at least a couple of them by his been. So I mean, you know, he's doing this while he's with the girlfriend. I mean, he just doesn't. I mean, we've all done our dirt or whatever, but man, he just doesn't come across. He's gonna have other issues, man. She might want to get rid of his ass. I mean, the girlfriend. Yeah, I mean, uh, I listened to the to the darling to to the uh, Sterling tapes. I mean, like, money is a very powerful thing. So like, you can have a cheating husband for. 60 plus 60 plus years but but as long as he's giving you money things are yeah. hush hush but w- with all that being said let's let's just go on and move on from that uh i i'm honestly getting tired of talking about and and like antonio brown but I'm yeah sure i mean we'll, it's, i'm sure we'll have to talk about it on friday too when he yeah gets i mean 
So right, it, it, it's like, what's next, dude? Yeah. Like, <laughs> is he gonna be attempted robbery or something? Or what? Or is he gonna show show up nude at training camp with no helmet and no pants? Or what is he? What's what's next? Is he gonna wear a? Is he gonna do a Odell Beckham and wear a watch during f- a football game? Let me ask you. Oh, here's another. One. Would I played football for seven years? It never crossed my mind to wear a watch during a football game. I thought that you couldn't do that. Like, why would you wear a freaking watch in a game? Well, I have I, a I couple understand. high school kids that have watches on simply because they, they just they, they, they just forget to take them off. Now they're not three hundred fifty thousand dollar watches. They're like a twenty five dollar watch from Kmart or so, you know. But but you got to watch out for that stuff because yeah. you no, know, like you know, he could scratch somebody or mm-hmm. or it could it could be used as a nearly a as a weapon. I mean, yeah. I, it could go in my eye. Yeah, football's crazy. People don't understand these arms and fingers and. Dude, I played football. You know how many times I've had – I am in the, I was in the trenches. You know how many right. times I had my arm bent back going the wrong way? Like, <laughs> it, you know, like I, there's times where I didn't feel my elbow for a play. Yeah. Like literally, and I'm like, oh, my God, you know. So, like, <laughs> it, you know, anything can happen. Yeah. Um, with a watch. You get why, why touched in places that you don't want to be touched hey, either. Hey, come here, son. Hey, hey, 84, take the watch off. <laughs> right. Put the watch with your mommy. Yeah. <laughs> that's how i talk on the football field man you'd love me there yeah i, I yeah. we we need some more people like you in the okay, area yeah. that i'm in yeah. uh but right. with right. all that being said <laughs> thursday night football is tomorrow night we have caroline panthers 0-1 take on the 0-1 tampa bay buccaneers first things first who do you got winning this game oh god this is uh this if it wasn't for <laughs> thursday night football this would be another one where uh Mommies and daddies and girlfriends and wives are just watching. Right. And, and degenerate gamblers. Um, but, you know, look, Carolina, Cam, that Cam Newton thing, man, I told you before, let me say it again. It looks hilarious when he tries to throw far. Um, follow me here on this one. And I, I'm, I'm going to reiterate it because I think it's pretty funny. It looks like they called like a 10-year-old kid out from the audience and said, hey, little Mikey, I want you to throw it as far as you can. And you know how, like, when you try to throw it, your little kid as far as you can, your head goes back, and you're like, ah, oh, you're straining. Ugh. That's what he, <laughs> yeah, your head's all going one way, your arm's going another. Listen, that's what he looks like sometimes, man. He's a grown-ass man trying to, he can make some little throws, you know, the 15-yard outs and 20-yard outs, and, you know, man, when he's trying to deliver that ball downfield, it does not look right, man. I think Cam Newton's done. Unless something happens where that gets fixed again, yeah. I mean, I, this guy's barely above 500 too. I mean, he's not he's not Eli Manning bad, but I mean, he's not this great winner that everybody talks about. Oh, he led his team to the Super Bowl. Dude's barely a you know 14 games over 500. I mean, he's okay, but I mean, you know, he, like Eli's like one game over. Like, I think Eli <laughs> is now 500 now. Yeah, 500 quarterback. But um, so. yeah, but uh, no, it just looks funny the Cam Newton thing. He's just trying to throw with all his strength and all that. It just looks funny. I think t- it's, it's it's at Carolina, right? Correct. On Thursday night, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I mean, we'll, let's look at it for this year. Usually the home team wins Thursday night. Like that's – now there might be a rare occasion where one or two times this year where the road team wins Thursday night, but you have a big advantage. Uh, you you know, you got to fly out as the road team a couple days to prepare. I mean, there is literally no advantage to playing a road game on Thursday night. Like literally, you're, 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 you're bad. It's going to be, right. you know – um, so I think Carolina will win the game. I think Tampa, listen, we talked about them, Bruce Arians. I, I'm sure he's pulling uh, whatever hair he has. No, he doesn't have any hair. I'm sure he's, I'm, I'm sure he's, uh, I'm sure he's, I'm sure he's biting nails and ramming his head through walls, knowing that Jameis Winston is his quarterback now. Um, so that thing better get fixed. Like we talked about, or you, you, you said you're going to, we're going to see Glenn, Glenn, Glenn Gabbert pretty soon. We yeah. probably will. We may see him this game. Um, I'll, you know, we're giving Jameis Winston another shot here on Thursday Night Football. I think Tampa Bay will make a good showing of this. I, I don't, because I don't think Carolina is that good. I think this game comes down to the wire, and I think Cam Newton will pull this game out. And yeah. McCaffrey has been absolutely, dude. Christian McCaffrey is he's the real team. deal. Yeah. He, yeah. And now I don't, you know, the way these running backs are, like, you know, these guys are a dime a dozen, man. Like McCaffrey and and um Christian McCaffrey and Kamara and all them. If we're, if I still know you in six years and we're doing something. I doubt we say the name Christian McCaffrey unless we're talking about oh I man he was a good player. Yeah. I don't think yeah. I don't think Christian McCaffrey at 30 years old will be playing in the National Football League. He's going to take too many hits. They rely on him too much. He's another one. He gets too many touches. Uh, five years from now, his career will be done. Yeah. Uh, just to add to that fact, uh, in just one game alone, he had 29 touches on the offensive side of the ball. 
19 carries and 10 receptions. So if he continues that trend, you know, he's, he's what that's damn near 700 touches in like a yeah, season. That, and that's that can't tough. happen. Yeah. That is, that is very, very, very tough. Uh, right. With that being said, uh, I think this is what Carolina is going to re- rely on all year is because of that throwing motion of Cam Newton. Like, I don't know if his shoulder's not fully healed or if or if he's just scared just to let it rip, but right. you are going to get a heavy dose of Christian McCaffrey right. on Thursday night. Uh, he is going to run for three three touchdowns. I think it's going to be a 21-7 to seven score. Uh, Jameis Winston gets a late touchdown just to kind of pad the yeah. stats a little bit to, to make it not so much of a slacking. Now, to add to your point there, I believe the stat is that 80% time – the home team wins a Thursday night game. Yeah. Uh, so with that being said, I want to keep track too. Now we cannot base a road team off of a bye week because I because I because I believe there's a couple times when a team has a bye and and then they play like the next third or the next Thursday night that kind of really doesn't count. Right. And then the Cowboys play on Thursday or on thanks on Thanksgiving and then they play the right. following Thursday against the Bears. Well. So, so like that, so that, that kind of cancels that out. But I remember last year, I want to say it, it had to be like the Seahawks versus the uh, Miami Dolphins or something like somebody played the late, the, the, the late Sunday night game had a flight cross coast to Seattle to play that Thursday night game. And it was just, oh. it was the ugliest game I've ever seen in my, like, in my yeah. life. I am a big advocator that I hate. These Thursday night games, I, I think it is the they need to wipe this clean. Like once right. the twenty once the twenty twenty one uh, contract is like up, they need to wipe this clean. They need to get Thursday night games. You can you can have Thursday night games on Thanksgiving because that is the Thanksgiving tradition, and I'm right. all about the tradition. But these Thursday night games every week, it kind of takes away from the Thursday th- Thanksgiving games. To be honest, because like oh, and, there's there's another game. Uh, and also, I don't like I, I don't understand why Detroit does this. You know that that Thanksgiving game comes on at 11 a.m. Right. Okay. If I if I was the commissioner, see see now they put a prime time game on Thursday night. Have you know the last three years yeah. or whatever? So after the Cowboys game back in the day, it used to be done. No more football. Now we got a third. Now we got a. You know what I would do? The 11 o'clock game is brutal. Right. Like that is ridiculous. I'd move the Detroit Lions to the three o'clock game, and Cowboys would be 7:30, and there'd be no anybody else. Yeah. Yeah. Like that would be good. But uh, because that 11 a.m. game is, what are you doing to these players, dude? Like, yeah. Not only do they have to play on Thursday, but you do know that you have to get up at 6 a.m. to play an 11 a.m. game. Right. Yeah. What are you doing to these players, dude? Yeah. Like, it's stupid. And usually, like me as a fan, I don't usually tune in till about 12:30, anyways, because I'm out hunting birds or hunting deer and like right. having a and like having a you, grand. You know time. what? So. Good point. Good yeah. point. And. and also, I'd ask Detroit if they want to be involved in this anymore, because they, if they don't, like I might want to move Detroit out of there. To be honest, I, I, then I'd put the Cowboys at three thirty, back at three thirty, and not mm-hmm. Detroit, right? And they are at three thirty, obviously. Then I'd put, then I, then I'd pick two teams every year to be the night game. Just yeah. get Detroit out of there. Start this, start the Thursday stuff at three thirty, not at eleven a.m. Yeah, uh, I could agree with that on that. I mean, like, yeah. but at the same time, there's still college games happening at like at eleven o'clock on Thursday too. So, yeah. uh, like, well, I mean, the college is a little different because they they get another day. They're they're playing Saturday. Well, Saturday well, Thursday's not as bad. Now, you know, if the NFL really wants to do something, move the Thursday night games to Friday night games. That is, is a, at least it's another day. You yeah, know what I mean? Like, true. True. But they don't want to step on the toes of high school football. Yeah, I mean, like, I am all for. Friday nights being high school ball, Saturdays yeah. being college ball, Sundays being NFL, Monday being like uh, at right. la, la, like at like NFL. But like nowadays, you can turn on the TV tonight, Wednesday night. I there is going to be a college football game on ESPN. It's it's it is going to be like Appalachian State versus oh yeah, uh, like a like a, like a Marshall or I mean I mean like it's like it's like 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 it's go, like it's going to be mo- teams that most people don't want to watch, but there's still football on every night. So, right. But it's just crazy. No, there is. They even have it on Tuesday and Wednesday nights, some small colleges. Yeah. So that's crazy. Yeah. Guys, with that being said, we're going to be off tomorrow. So, so yeah. that so that, that's why we're breaking down the Tampa Bay Carolina game 
today. We both have Carolina winning. Marcus, what's Carolina, your final what? score? Yeah, yeah, I was just about to say about 19-16. 19-16. Uh, so uh, Marcus is going to have a little closer game. Uh, I think it's going to be kind of a lopsided Carolina win. Okay. Uh, so, guys, join us to uh, Friday. We're going to break down week two of the NFL yes. season, talk about some major games, and we're probably going to be talking about uh, Ant- Antonio Brown getting cut by the Patriots. So join yeah. us Friday. Have a, <laughs> have a good day. All right.